After the war started, uh, the majority of uh, Tutsi people who uh, were living in that part of the country uh, were uh, targeted and, 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 and killed. We're filming my conversation with my guest Eric Marangua Eugene in Brentford Football Club. That's because football has played a central part in Eric's life. In his early childhood, it's a reason why he survived the Rwandan genocide and also it's been vital in terms of his life and work since the genocide and living with the trauma of that. At the time, there were certain places in the country where you couldn't play because of discrimination in those places, is that right? It's true, it's true. Um, as much as uh, the, um, the football environment was peaceful, you know, mm. was, was all about togetherness, uh, the, the, the issue of discrimination which <laughs> has been uh, uh, put into people's way of life by, by the regime, uh, was 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 everywhere. I was there to be seen, and uh, in some part of the country, it was even uh, uh, very obvious. Uh, they had this thing of uh, uh, you know mixing uh, sport and and violence. So every time my my football club would go there, you know, would uh, face some 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 sort of um, uh, intimidation. And, uh, and uh, you know, insulting us, uh, singling singling out some some of us by, you know, calling us names such as uh, uh, cockroaches, which was uh, a name generally uh, 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 used to, to say what when the Tutsis were. And um, after 1990, when the war broke out between the and the, the RPF and then the former regime. Uh, I stopped traveling in the north, so I, uh, I could not go and play any games which were organized in that part of the country mm -hmm. because I feared for my life. Mm -hmm. uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, Tutsi people were forced out of the country and the others were killed. And that went on for almost four decades. The, the regimes, were you know replace, replace, replacing each other, but the system remained the same. The ideology of hating the Tutsis were, were there between fifty nine all the way to ninety four. So, in my view, uh, those were the two many uh, elements of uh, why uh, the genocide really happened. And now, as Tutsis and Hutus together, you are rebuilding Rwanda and using football as one of the means by which you're drawing together as one. The way the, 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 the fabric of, of Rwandan society was, was destroyed, uh, so many means were used to do, to do that and to rebuild it you have to f use all sorts of means as well uh, and that's where I came up with this idea of uh, using football as one uh, way of uh, you know contributing to the process of, of, of building, building, build, uh, rebuilding our society and uh, as I said sport and football in particular uh, they have so much power, so much influence, especially with the young people. And if it's, if it's used as an education tool, uh, it can play uh, an incredible role in, 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 in helping us uh, creating a better and good citizens of, uh, of uh, Rwanda of tomorrow. So that's, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to, to, to achieve.